the sunrise the view the kayaking experience a vietnamese cooking class and sandy beaches halong bay is without doubt a must visit in vietnam this video is going to be about my one night two day stay at the halong bay cruise i'm going to share with you how to plan this trip and what to expect so keep on watching We booked the cruise from a company called the Vega Cruise and it cost us 120 USD per person including the pickup from our Airbnb. So at 7 a.m. we loaded our bags into the minivan and set off. Hanoi to Halong Bay is a pretty long journey about 5 hours. During this journey our guide Peter told us about the history of Halong Bay and also taught us a little bit of Vietnamese. Of course, if it's too early for you for all this, you can just take a nap. Now, since it's a long journey, the bus makes a stop at a gem store factory where you can take a look at Vietnamese handicrafts and get your breakfast. After 5 hours, we arrived at our destination, the Halong Bay Harbor. But surprise surprise we had to take another small journey on this tiny boat to reach our main ship So this is our main ship and it was quite fancy I'll show you around in a bit but first things first lunch yes there was a delicious spread of fresh yummy vietnamese food waiting for us on the deck and yeah there were plenty of vegetarian options now let me show you around this is our room it's compact but really really neat and tidy the best part about the room is this balcony which gives you an amazing view of halong bay The ship had 3 floors and this is the topmost floor the deck. We actually spent quite a bit of time on the deck relaxing, taking in the view and soaking up the sun. So after we had lunch, rested a bit and changed, we set out to experience Halong Bay. We got into another small boat and made our way to our first destination, the hidden caves. These caves are truly hidden and from the outside it's almost impossible to tell how massive they are. Some part of the cave is so narrow that you just have to squeeze yourself through. But it was all worth it, especially when you get to experience these hidden views of Halong Bay. The next thing we did was kayaking. Now this was my first time at kayaking and let me tell you I was quite bad at it. But it did not matter. Just the sheer experience of kayaking through the Halong Bay. Often times alone because I was far far behind the others was just out of this world we kayaked for about 4 hours around the bay and made several pit stops to get some rest and also to enjoy more incredible views of the halong bay We came back to our main ship in the evening to find a huge spread waiting for us. Can you guess what this is? Yes, it's a spring roll making class. Vietnamese 
fresh spring roll which consists of rice paper stuffed with fresh veggies and a dipping sauce is absolutely delicious. We learned how to make these and of course ate a ton of them. This was followed by a delicious dinner spread accompanied by some great music. The next morning, we woke up bright and early to witness an incredible sunrise over the Halong Bay waters. Eating a nice, relaxed breakfast with this view was just out of this world. Once we were done, we strapped on our life jackets and set out to explore the other side of Halong Bay. Our first stop was this place, Hang Sun Sol. This place is pretty high up and you have to climb several steps to get to the top. But since it's on the top, it gives this incredible view of Halong Bay. But wait, this is not even the best part of the spot. The best part are these huge salt caves, which have been perfectly preserved over the years. Walking in and exploring, you actually feel like you are on some another planet. Mars, anyone? Next stop was this island. Honestly, I just can't remember the name. But this island has this huge white statue and a path with a thousand steps. Now if you're wondering why would you climb these steps, well, you would do it to enjoy the most amazing and the breathtaking view of Halong Bay. If there is one image of Halong Bay that you would like to remember it has to be this view from this particular point and oh yeah this island also has a nice sandy beach perfect for swimming and relaxing don't be like me and do remember to take your bathing suit along after this we made our way back to the ship had lunch packed up and made the long journey back to Hanoi. All this taken care by the Vega Cruise. So that's all for this video on Halong Bay. I hope this video helps you in planning your Halong Bay cruise. It's a must, must visit. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.